Here's to the ones with the guns. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Your boys in Martinelli's decided to make some U.S. grown. Some nice sparkling apple mm. cider. It contains non-alcoholic. Non alcohol. What? <laughs> <laughs> Elijah, no. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Scene. Cold War. Nineteen sixty-one. Kennedy is um, he's trying to protect against the Russians. The Russia, the 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 so the communists are coming into Cuba, and the, they're 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 trying to be communist. But they're really close to Florida, and that's a really big deal. So Bay of Pigs, Kennedy sends some people out, and they try to they try to take Cuba back. Fails horribly. It's so bad. 1962, Fidel strikes a deal with your boy Nikita of the, the, the Russia, and he decides, all right, we'll build you a missile silo over there in Cuba, so that way you won't get invaded again by those friggin' Americans. And Fidel is loving it. It's, it's such a great plan. So they go along with it, and eventually um, the Americans are flying U-2, uh, scout planes overhead. They get crystal clear satellite footage of what's becoming, you know, nuclear bombs in, in Cuba. And um, they see these nuclear bombs and they're just like, oh, we got to do something. But no, it's 4D chess, so we can't just go over there and take them and blow them up because, you know, nuclear war and all that jazz. That's terrible. So they... Think outside the box. And they're making a silo. You have to tell them to stop making the silo. <clears throat> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you're making a silo, so you get them to stop bringing in stuff to make a silo. Kennedy, Kennedy decides to go 4D chess. Let's go. Let's put a naval blockade around Cuba. Stop everything from getting in there. Two days later, or that happens on October the 22nd, 1962. That day, Kennedy goes on the TV and he explains to the Americans that he's going to protect our national interests and he's going to use military force if necessary. This is whenever the people of the world start fearing for their lives, inherently. Two days later, October 24th, 1962. Soviet ships come over and they're bringing stuff to help build that crap and they look at them They look at the blockade. They're just like Should we? Should we go in there and uh, take them out or go past? Nah, all right, that'd be nukes. All right, so they turn around. It's brilliant. It's fantastic Three days later October 27 1962 US scout plane is flying over it gets shot down American dies. People in America are planning an, inv an invasion. They're about ready to go for it. And somebody says no. I think it was Kennedy. So this is a real crisis. And John and Nikita are, are having heartfelt conversations. Being the President of the United States, he can do that. He, he can, he, he just decides. Alright. We need to stop nuclear war from happening. And, you know, having a bunch of old crusty men do that to one person is really tough. That's why Congress wasn't involved for a bit. That's why the president was doing it. Fantastic man Kennedy was. So they, 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 they send letters back and forth. The world's on the brink of nuclear war within 20 minutes at any time. And they send letters back and forth to each other. It's brilliant. But otherwise, they come to an agreement. Treaty is signed. They get the naval blockade out of there. Soviet Union takes off its uh, missiles. The U.S. agrees not to invade Cuba again. And then uh, the U.S. also takes missiles out of Turkey. And after this, after this, this is whenever the Moscow-Washington hotline was made. Is a phone directly connecting the two of them. 
so that way they can call and have fancy talks every now and then. But this, this is um, the president right here. 